dear students today we are going to discuss about the next uml diagram it's a er diagram go to model select add diagram and choose er diagram from the list today i will explain how to draw the er diagram for a student management system just i am going to mention the the name of the file it's a student management system sms and once you open the er diagram the related the entities relationships and other tools it will be displayed in the toolbox now i am going to add the the title of our project er diagram for a student management system so before we understand that er diagram in the star uml software we have some basic idea how to draw the er diagram uh, for any kind of projects so in the textbook uh, usually we will use the rectangular for entity and ellipse for attributes and we have some set of relationships among uh, to connect that entities so here in the star uml we have limited number of the tools which is available so it will be defer it's compared to the textbooks the diagrams which already you studied in the subjects before draw the diagram i will give some basic introduction about what is er diagram then we will move on to that the er diagram for student management system an entity relationship diagram is a diagram that represents the relationship among the entities in a database it is commonly known as a er diagram it is used to design the database an er diagram is created based on three principal components it's called as entities attributes and relationships so first i am going to create one entity for student management system i am going to start uh, the first entity name it's a student just you can click the the relevant the options available related to that the first compartment itself you can add the list of attributes for the entity so for the student entity uh, first i have created the student id now i am going to add the the type of our attribute is an integer the length is 5 and i fixed the student id as a primary key next one it's a student name so student name as we know that uh, we have some set of characters so i am going to use that varchar the length of 25 and next one address so address is also we have to use the varchar and the length of the attribute is 50 you can uh, do all the things as per the requirement of your project as per the requirement of your concepts it's not fixed any of the the list of entity name or attributes name or data type there is no restriction for these kind of things so as per your project requirement as per your concept you can add any kind of uh, the entity name attribute name as well as the data type now we have created uh, the phone number mail id even you can use the the length of each uh, the attribute you can change as per your wish so here as a gender either we could mention as male or female just i am going to use the the type of the gender is character and the length is 1 and the main objective of to design our database always we have to reduce the the size of the memory right so we have to reduce the size of the storage space so that's our main objective so that's why we have to give that the proper length for our attributes so that's it's very very important and the second entity name is an enrollment as a student we have collected the basic information and the second entity is enrollment we have the enrollment id so always the id 
we know that uh, it will be maybe act as a primary key or it could be uh, the foreign key for another table right and the next one it's a course name so which course the students going to choose for his studies it's uh, the course name i mentioned as a worker the length of 20 and course type and course type also we could uh, maybe called as for example core courses professional courses uh, discipline courses elective courses we have some set of different courses uh, that students can choose during that enrollment process and which student is going to choose that course it's also very very important that's why i mentioned the student id in that enrollment table and the student id it's going to act as a foreign key so the reason is already we have created that student id in the student entity as a primary key now i am going to use that student id as a foreign key in the enrollment table right next to one the student enrollment uh, that's a one set of process and the staff is uh, another important part of the student management system so here as a staff entity we have the staff id and i fixed all the id the maximum length of the attribute i fixed as the 5 and the next one it says staff name as a worker a designation of the faculty always we have to use the the meaningful entity name and we have to list out the the relevant attributes for our each entity is very very important so we have to give all the names as it's very very meaningful terms so it should represent that complete information about each attribute so even if you are using some kind of short notations to or uh, represent your attribute so that the short notation always it gives the uh, the complete information about your attribute right and after the designation we have to use the uh, department and official mail id of the faculty and personal mail id and the phone number or contact number of your faculty just you have to change uh, that that data type it's uh, try to use all type of uh, the data types you can utilize it uh, for your project it's not only for either integer or worker or numeric or character it's frequently we are using such kind of the data type even you could think about that how to use other kind of data types uh, for your project right and next to one we have that student enrollment the staff all or it's related to that uh, the class entity and here we have that the class id and the name of the class it's important so after the class id i mentioned that the course id so which course that uh, the students going to study for their uh, subjects and next to one who is handling the subject uh, just i will call that the staff id in that class entity or the class table right so here i mentioned the class id as a primary key course id and staff id i make it as your foreign key and here the course id i have to mention in the enrollment table itself right so that course id is also always important when we are choosing that course so here as a course id student id enrollment id is present in the enrollment table okay 
and sometimes we can use the uh, the attribute as it's not only for either primary key or foreign key that the single attribute it will be act as a primary key in that particular table as well as we can use that the same id as a foreign key in the another table right so here course id i mentioned as primary key and foreign key that's a it's a self referencing foreign key in that enrollment table okay the next one it's a date of enrollment when the student choose that course the uh, the date is also very very important and we could use that the type of the uh, enrollment date of enrollment is as a date right now i am going to add the relationship between the each uh, entities it's we have one to one one to many many to many relationship here here that uh, the first two lines it's represent it's a one and uh, the circle it's a followed by multiple lines we call it as which is called as a zero to many right so as here one student can choose or can do enrollment zero to many the process the student can uh, do it right and from the class to enrollment as one class have zero to many enrollment process we could do right and here we have that staff and class again i mentioned as one to many even it's a depends upon that uh, as i mentioned earlier right so depends upon the project depends upon the scenario how you are going to present your uh, uh, that is uh, the project you can use a different uh, relationship among the each entity it's not fixed as for example student to enrollment always we have to use either one one to many or for uh, the staff to class it's a one to many it's not like that even you could differentiate your relationship it's a depends upon your requirement or it's a depends upon your need you can change such kind of the relationships right so in that the basic diagram we are using uh, that is uh, some kind of that uh, the diamond symbol uh to define the relationship between that the entities right here there is no such kind of the symbols in star uml just we can make it as all the terms with the help of that available notations and we can give that uh, the that is the cordial cordiality or either one to many many to one or many to many with the help of some kind of the text box or some kind of notes we have to include all the informations right i hope this information it will helpful to you all uh, still you can add few more entities for your uh, diagram thank you thanks for watching